Hey, just to let you guys know, just because I do a handful of product review videos in a row doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing. What's up, Internet? I'm JD Nitro. This is Nitro News, where I give my opinion on random news stories that I find on the Internet. And this time, it's somewhat of a messed up story. We have a lady suing Monster Energy. Now, for those who don't know, Monster Energy drinks are probably the number one selling energy drinks in the country right now. And they are being sued because this lady's 19-year-old son, there's a picture of him right there, has died after drinking two cans of Monster Energy Drink every day for three years. He's died from a heart attack. Now, first up, let's acknowledge that is unfortunate and condolences do go out to her and the rest of the family. But I have to say, how is that Monster Energy's fault? Now, according to the mother, Monster has not done an adequate enough job to warn their consumers about the dangerous levels of caffeine in their product. However, there is a warning label on the Monster Energy Drink can that says uh, people who are sensitive to caffeine, women who are nursing, and women who are pregnant should not drink the product. However, Monster kind of shoots themselves in the foot just a little bit because it also says you can have one can every four hours with a limit of three cans per day. Now, her son was drinking two cans a day for three years. Now, every 24 ounces of Monster contains 240 milligrams of caffeine. So if he was drinking two of them a day, that was 480 milligrams. Now, the FDA recommends that adults consume no more than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. If he drank coffee or any type of soft drink that also had caffeine in it, we don't know. Point is, he was exceeding the recommended amount of caffeine per day. The screwed up part of this story, though, is she is suing them. How much money she's after, we don't know. It hasn't been disclosed yet. But there is no definitive proof that Monster Energy Drinks is what killed her son. I mean, you could make the argument that consuming that much caffeine over time weakened his heart and that led to a heart attack but I think it's going to be very difficult for her attorney to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the monster energy drinks is the cause of death in this instance now I'm also a little bit biased in this case uh, for monster energy drinks mainly because from time to time I do drink them I have a thing for a Java Monster. Now, I don't drink two of them a day, but nevertheless, I do like them. So, just a little bit biased. What should happen here? In my opinion, Monster just needs to settle this out of court. Because if this goes to court, it could potentially, ru not necessarily ruin them, but it could be very bad for them. Because think about this. On the plaintiff's side, you have a grieving mother, grieving over the death of her son. And in the defendant's seat, you have a multi-million dollar beverage company. Who do you think is going to win that court case? It would be just beneficial for Monster to just write this woman a blank check and be done with it. And that's my opinion on it. What's yours? Do you think Monster should give this woman money and revise the warning label on their product? Or do you think she should not get any money because no one told her son to drink two of them every day for three years? Also, what's your favorite energy drink? Or do you not drink energy drinks? I would like to know. And that's going to do it for this video. I'm JD Nitro. It always makes me happy to see you guys like, comment, and subscribe. The official order for doing things. Thanks for watching. I'm out.